<coughs> Aloha. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good something, right? This is Andrew Aloha Live out of Flagstaff, Arizona with Spiritual Image Productions on um, the road to the Day of Declaration, right? Um, it's, in a, it's a podcast that I've started. Um, I'm still working with it in terms of what day I'm going to do it on. And I apologize that I'm not being consistent, but I just, um, I'm just working with it as best I know how, right? So it's like that. So um, <clears throat> I was planning on doing this show a few days ago. And I, I'm looking to have, um, I'm planning on having uh, and interviewing people that have had experiences with Maitreya or Sai Baba or Amachi the Hugging Saint or um, or any number of, of, of people or beings that have appeared to them um, in person. Uh, like Maitreya Buddha appeared to me and these two other women years ago in Victorville, California. So, um, I, 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 you know, I'm just kind of working with it and, um, it's like that. So, um, and, and as I work with this, uh, do this more and more, uh, hopefully all the technical problems will go away and these, uh, these will be a lot better, a lot easier and, and, uh, nicer to listen to. So it's like that. So, and I apologize for the last, the last um, video that I did um, for this show because I, I, I know it was probably kind of annoying to listen to because of the n noise background. But hopefully um, uh, I, I've got this rearranged so hope it'll be better. So it's like that. So anyhow, um, for, first of all, I, I, uh, it's kind of overcast right now. Yesterday it was over 103 degrees in Sedona. Wow. I went and camped out there the night before, what's today, Monday. On Saturday, I took off and camped, the night, camped out there for the night and um, hung out, did some stuff, meditations. Um, I ended up actually doing a, go, uh, going to a MUFON meeting there in, uh, in Sedona, Mutual UFO Network, right? It was the first one I had attended in several years. I don't know how long, but um, I, was, I went to visit a friend. And she goes, well, I'm headed to a MUFON meeting. You want to go? I said, oh, okay, fine. So um, while I was there, um, the woman that was presenting, she's also in charge of the MUFON chapter here in, in the northern Arizona area. Uh, she's also the state director, I believe, for the MUFON here in Arizona. Her name is uh, Jennifer Stein. Um, she did more of an archaeology type of a presentation in it was it was interesting, and there was some stuff that was you know some tidbits that I I um, kind of connected to, so it was kind of like that. But anyhow, afterwards I, I went over to talk to her, and she mentioned that there had already been some healing water discovered in Utah. Now I'm not sure if it's it's if it's the same um, blessing or, or same water that my Trail Buddha activated years ago. Uh, in Salt Lake, because he made an appearance in Salt Lake City, Utah, I believe it was in 1998. Don't quote me on that, but I, uh, back in 1998, um, I think in April, I don't know. Don't hold me to that, but somewhere around along those lines, he made an appearance there in Salt Lake City, Utah, which means there's uh, healing water there. I'm sure of it. And uh, she mentioned a place where people were getting healed of all kinds of stuff. I don't know if it was a hot water place, uh, you know, a, a hot water spring or something like that. Uh, if it was, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, I'm not sure. The the healing water that I'm talking about, I believe has to do with with uh, so, something that you can drink so you can be healed internally, not just externally, uh, skin disorders and stuff and so forth. So um, I'm assuming that that is the, the, the healing water uh, that I'm talking about. And if it is, and then that would be the very first uh, discovery that I know of here in the United States. So uh, I don't know anywhere else that that they've, um, they found healing water at yet. And um, this week, 
I'm headed out again. I'm headed out to Tucson, and on my way there, I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna make a, a drive by and and see if I can find that healing water here in the Coconino County area. I'm almost 100% sure that it's here in the Coconino County area, um, and I'm probably 80, 85, 95% sure of, of of where it's located at, um, or the central area where it's at. I just need to find it. And so with that in mind, one of the things, some of the things that you can do to prepare for finding the healing water, uh, first of all, is get a topography map, if you can, that shows the bodies of waters um, and so forth. Um, you can use Google Map, uh, Google Map to, to go in, and, and, um, and even you can even go in and uh, use um, the GPS map with, with Google, right? You can go... Uh, Put in the the name of the location and where you think it's at, and then plot it in, and then and then uh, do a, a screenshot of it or whatever, and then work on work, work from that. Work with that. You can even print it on um, you know eight by ten piece of paper, and then and then section it off, and then and then um, see use a pendulum to try to locate the or pinpoint where where it's at. So it's like that. The other things that um, that are coming to me that. I hadn't thought about, and that's one of the things I'm going to see about doing today, is going to uh, Walmart, uh, of all places, and get some dowsing rods. Um, from what I see, uh, for, from what I've seen online, you can get them at, at um, Walmart and also Amazon. So, um, and unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time and, and the time frame that uh, Amazon would have those rods delivered to me wouldn't be till next week and I, I want to I want to have those with me when I go out there uh, this week to see about finding that water but um, the other things uh, uh, of course you're gonna want to have plenty of food plenty of water especially when it's hot like this um, and then you're uh, you might even get one of those horns you know that that comes out of the can you punch you press it and it goes ah you know it makes a loud noise uh, and also some pepper spray. I don't know if you'll run into any problems with uh, wildlife, but just in case, you might want to have those on hand uh, as well. Um, so in the meantime, um, the woman uh, that 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 uh, told me yesterday, she her name is Jennifer Stein from the MUFON chapter here in uh, Northern Arizona area you uh if i don't know if you want to try to to interview her or talk to her or ask her um she told me the name of the place and unfortunately i forgot it already i apologize but um i want to say it had something to do with blue something like that i don't know this this blue stuff keeps coming up and it just just isn't it but anyhow um no what uh moving on um one of the things that i want to let you know I do a, these ascension practices or ascension intuition uh, sessions um, that are a combination of both ascension practices uh, and then also doing the ascension intuition where I go in and do clearings and blockage removals and all kinds of stuff. So I did this with a, a neuroscientist last week out of California. She's, a, she's actually a PhD and so um, she was, I think she was pretty amazed. I, she was, um, pretty excited about it, I think. And we did some stuff and I think she felt pretty comfortable with, with the results, uh, or at least with, with what we did. And uh, the results will probably, um, overflow for the next several days, next several weeks, maybe probably. So it's like that. Um, now let me see. And so, um, if you want a, a copy of that, you can uh, of that. Oh, well, I, actually, I take it back. I'm gonna. If you go to my website, spiritualimageproductions.com, spiritualimageproductions.com, I'm gonna um, put that testimonial on my testimonial page so you can check it out for yourself. In the meantime, about almost three months ago, um, prior to, I was informed by my a guide that I, uh, my Treya Buddha was going to contact me. So, um, I, I, you know, a lot of this information I take with a grain of salt. I just observe it, let it go, 
let you know let it um, process and then let it and let it go and leave it at that. So sure enough, about about a week later, I was contacted by an individual who told me his name was I I want to say Kalki Buddha. Um, he says he has many many names, but that he was also the Maitreya Buddha is, is how we put it. So he actually referred to me as Superman and Bodhi, which I thought was kind of interest, interesting. Uh, I want to say it was kind of funny because uh, I've always connected to Superman, but that's besides the point. And Bodhi was like a buddy, you know, like the word buddy type of thing. So um, it was interesting. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to, I, I well, first of all, when we talked or chatted on YouTube, uh, I, I did an ascension practice um, um, video, and on that chat uh, of that uh, practice is where we had this this conversation at. It was very interesting. Um, some of the some of the stuff got, as he says, censored and taken out, and I never even seen it until about a week ago. Uh, and and I, I was looking through. There's a place where you can look at comments that have not been approved by YouTube, and you can go through and approve them or disapprove them. So it was like that. Um, and sure enough, I I went back there and I looked at the whole conversation, and I thought, wow, no no wonder I, things weren't making sense. But he he in that conversation he does state he um he his body. Uh, is located in London, England, or um, is is in London, England, and he he told me a bunch of other stuff, including technology, the technology that they deal with now, as he refers to it, um, uh, are with that technology they're able to make themselves younger or older. They no longer have diseases for the most part. All kinds of stuff. So it was really interesting to see what what he was uh, telling me. And um, I and I did. I read that that whole conversation four or five times at least, and because uh, I I wanted to try to understand where he was coming from. And again, you know, I I, I haven't 100% accepted that he's the Maitreya Buddha, the Benjamin Krim has been referring to. Uh, I have a strong feeling that it is, but I'm not 100% with that yet. But I don't discount him as being a fraud yet or at all. So I'm just kind of going with the flow, right? So it's like that. So if you want a copy of the full, uh, of course, I'm going to put the link for the for the chat on YouTube uh, in, in the description section. But I'm also going to put, uh, if you want to obtain a PDF copy of the whole conversation, you can uh, go to my website and on, on the right, on the right side uh, towards the bottom, there's a place where you can, uh, do messages you can put subscribe um in the in the message section and that you uh, um and if you do that then i will uh, even just that i'll, I'll send you a copy the pdf copy version of this so and the people that are already on my list of course uh you're already uh, i'm I'm, get, I'm gonna send that today or tomorrow so that you can check it out for yourself so anyhow it was a very interesting auspicious um conversation uh, I want to say so um, it is what it is and um, with that in mind and if you don't know who Maitreya Buddha is uh, he's considered Christ conscious at the planetary level uh, probably solar system levels too uh, uh, and maybe universal but at, at least a solar system level and so he's the head of the spiritual hierarchy here on planet earth um, and he's here to inaugurate or bless the age of Aquarius, which uh, I, I in, in my, I don't know, I think I put it in the description that it's around the corner. But since then, I, I, um, I well, let's put it this way. Years ago, I was with, um, hang on, time out. I, I'll be right back.